Hello and welcome to what is probably the most luxurious resort in all of Iguazu National Park. A big favor before we dive in, please be sure to give us a like and subscribe if you're new to our channel. Okay, so today we're here at the Gran Malia Iguazu Resort, which is a Gran Malia property. Upon arriving at the hotel, you're greeted by the friendly hotel staff who provide you with a hot towel as well as a cold mate beverage. I simply cannot get over how stunning and comfortable these egg chairs are. Very sweet, uh, but also kind of strong. The hotel property inside is gorgeous and stunning as well. There's plenty of comfortable seating and the wooden furniture really reflects the nature vibes. There's also plenty of greenery which is locally inspired as well. You'll find plenty of pictures displaying local wildlife in the lobby area. Past the front desk area is Amaro which is one of the hotel's restaurants. There's plenty of dining options and bars offered at this resort, but more about some of those later. However, the best part is once you've made your way outside, you'll notice stunning views of Iguazu National Park, as well as views of the rest of the resort down below. It really feels like you could spend a lot of time out here. While waiting for my room, I was directed to wait in the Red Level Lounge, which is not exactly like an airport lounge. In fact, it feels kind of exclusive, as there's not a whole lot of comfortable seating, but the seating offered is quite plush. I appreciate the cozy ambiance, as there's a lot to do here. You'll find board games, as well as some magazines, as well as a snack selection, including desserts and fruit. And there's also a drink selection as well. But yeah, overall, it's a pretty cool space. Now let's make our way outdoors, we'll notice Giala, which is a poolside bar area. I ordered lunch here and the food was fantastic, as was the service. The bar area is pretty cool as well and it allows for easy access to the pool. I simply just cannot get over the amazing garden aesthetic vibe or the zen garden feel that this hotel has to offer, especially outdoors. The hotel's main restaurant also offers some seating outdoors. I was more than impressed with the lengthy breakfast selection available here at the Gran Malia. Plenty of sweet and savory options, as well as a ton of bread, pastry, cereal, fruit, you name the entire selection. Guests can also choose from a variety of cold, healthy options. The best part is that there's plenty of condiments in addition to the live cooking station. Located outside of the main dining area is a souvenir shop, as well as a bar. Now, let's make our way to the room. I had already informed the Grand Malia staff that I'd be reviewing today's hotel, so they invited me to film the presidential suite, which I must say is really stunning. While I did not get to stay in the presidential suite itself, I can only imagine how great of an experience it really is. The bed itself seemed quite plush, and there was plenty of comfortable furniture. You're also provided with a dining table, as well as a bookshelf, along with a mini bar complete with an espresso machine. The wooden finishes, as well as the colorful ambiance overall, is just really stunning and really contributes towards the attention to detail, especially with all the antiques. The bedroom, however, is probably the best part. There's a large TV, as well as a plush, king-size bed, complete with probably what are some of the most comfortable pillows you'll find in a hotel suite. The couch is also a great amenity in this room, as it offers a pretty good view of the National Park down below. You can easily get carried away by spending hours in either the shower or the tub. Both the toilets and sink are a pretty generous size. There's more than enough storage space beneath the sink, and you're provided with more than a ton of closet space. Overall, this feels like a stunning room, however the regular suites are pretty nice as well. The crown jewel is certainly this outdoor terrace where you can get some fresh air, however keep in mind there are monkeys that come out here so this might not be the most favorable spot to relax. Now let's talk amenities. The outdoor pool is quite gorgeous and it never felt crowded. It was even more peaceful thanks to the lush greenery surrounding it. Inside the welcome center is where you'll find the spa facility. The mood lighting and tranquil ambiance makes the spa feel kind of exclusive and there's even a table with food and drinks. There's a hot tub near the spa facility, however this one is exclusively for adults. By staying at Malia Hotels and Resorts, you can earn Malia Rewards, which is the points currency for Grand Malia Hotels and Resorts. Those points can be redeemed for a future hotel stay at a resort like the Grand Malia Iguazu. 
If you're paying in cash, prices for this hotel start at around $480 per night. From the friendly service to the luxurious amenities, this hotel truly offered a memorable stay. Even though I didn't get to stay in the presidential suite, it looked absolutely stunning and the regular suites are pretty nice as well. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.